So let's get into the first main topic of the day. And Pert Minder kind of mentioned it a little bit. And that's, this is coming from Deadline. Sources tell Deadline, Jane Goldman, Honey Ross are negotiating to pen a new Barbarella pick starring Sydney Sweeney with Edgar Wright in Talks to Direct. The film is still in early development given Sweeney busy schedule and Wright deep in the prep of his Running Man reboot with Glenn Powell, who also starred with uh, Sydney Sweeney and Anyone But You, obviously. And you know, that was a big massive hit gold uh, so golden um and ross have brought the pen the the script and that's golden on the left right there she's the main person that's gonna be writing the script with ross helping with the details it says clearly shows the studio is not messing around in getting the film right as they see this as a big franchise for all parties goldman has helped launch a lot of successful franchises she's wrote on the re rebooted x-men movies with james mcavoy and michael fassbender some of my favorite um x-men films and also matthew vaughn's kingman secret service so she has theatrical experience and launch Launching franchise there and i heard kingsman i haven't seen kingsman but i heard those uh, movies are really good especially the first one and i love the uh, rebooted films uh, especially first class and days of future past so that makes me uh really really excited about that but the big thing is who the heck is barbarella where does this character come from just want to put some details on the screen for you guys um the comic version of the character because this is a comic book character it says a young woman who travels from planet to planet and has numerous adventures often involving sex the alien she meets often seduces her and she also experiences experiments with machine excessive or, or organ maestro so you can see there's some sexual innuendos in the titles the book caused a scandal and became known as the first adult erotic comic book the character embodied the modern and emancipated woman in the era of sexual liberation as a result the literary work has come to be associated with the mid 20th century sexual revolution that was what the comic book originally was about we actually had a 1968 film directed by roger vanham that followed an astronaut from the 34th 41st century so I guess maybe, depending on what they do, they'll do that, and this will be in the future. Uh, who sets out to find and stop evil scientist Duran Duran, whose positronic ray threatens to bring evil back into the galaxy. And yes, Duran Duran is the name of a band, and they were inspired by this villain <laughs> in this movie. That's where they got their name from. Uh, I think this could be really, really, really interesting uh, film. I think that Sydney Sweeney is trying to diversify the products that she do personally i've always said that i think that this actress sydney sweeney is her best acting is when she's done under duress um and i think that this uh, action film like this could give her opportunity to stretch those muscles and i think that having edgar wright come on she's always bringing in these talented directors to direct what she's doing i think edgar wright it can bring a lot of energy to this film so kinetic energy to this film that can make it special you know him doing scott pilgrim versus the world he's done Shaun of the dead and that kind of Toretto trilogy. He's doing Baby Driver. He's in Last Night in Soho. He's very accomplished. Um, he set the, 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 the style of Ant-Man 1, and obviously Peyton Reed didn't continue that on, but that how fun Ant-Man 1 was, that light of that was Edgar Wright because he was supposed to direct that film, but backed out. I think he's a great, great uh, director for this, especially since it's kind of an outdated kind of story even just the 1968 film but even going further back with the comic book there's some outdated ideas there's things that they could pull from there and maybe have commentary but i don't think they're gonna do like a one-to-one -one with the comic or the old school movie i think they're gonna freshen it up and have a, a, a great time with this story that doesn't you know i think it has fans but doesn't have enough fans where um i don't think that they're gonna be like, oh my god you changed this and they're actually going to be rebooting that comic book soon to match with the film um the, the writers uh i'm not too familiar with honey uh i think honey go or what was her name i looked her up a little bit she's done some tv writing on some tv shows but um the main writer she's you know done the x-men franchise and she did the first two films not apocalypse or dark phoenix and she's also did kingsman secret service so she has um some experience writing fun movies writing serious movies movies with some thematic elements in it i think the combination of both of those uh with edgar wright and her and then this other writer probably bringing in some some comedic elements because she's worked on comedy shows to make something really really dope it definitely depends on who the rest of the writers are on this particular film but i'm interested i'm intrigued i think that when they initially announced this a couple weeks ago 
a couple months ago when I first initially talked about it um, earlier this year, I wasn't too super excited because I was looking at the character and I was like, okay, Sydney soon is playing like a sex plot character. But I think with this writer and now Edgar Wright as a director, I think this could be special. Guys, let me know in the comments down below what you think about Barbarella now that Edgar Wright is supposedly attached and these particular writers are attached. Do you think Sydney Sweeney can knock this out of the park? Do you think this is something that should stay dead and doesn't need to be revived? Let me know in the comments down below and let's see what the live stream is saying.